Ebony, I think, is made, she's just made to help people, period. I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. Her legacy is about helping people. She's trying to help others preserve their land for generations to come. She has been so engaged and so active, providing such leadership within the land conservation community. Ebony Alexander's work is helping to move land conservation beyond its traditional boundaries, expanding its reach in a community not traditionally served by most land trusts. Uh, many African Americans, you mention land trust, they don't even know what a land trust is. But Ebony has a passion for black land and black farmers that are trying to make an impact in the world. People like myself needed help, didn't know the door to open up. She knocked on the door for me and opened it for me. The paperwork to go sign, pick and sign, she brought the paperwork to me and showed me what you want to sign. She didn't want to carry it to the people, show me the one to talk to. We, we talk, we email, um, we, I can call her and talk about anything in the world. And she at least give me an idea or have me have a connection with someone that she knows. She is a very studious woman, and you better be ready for her to come back at you with a good remark. She is an amazing uh, force of nature, if you will. In addition to her work as executive director of the Black Family Land Trust, she has developed a history of land curriculum that draws on her extensive expertise in resolving heirs' properties issues and her understanding of the unique resilience and perseverance of America's black farmers. Heirs' property is one of these, these beasts that plagues many African Americans that hold land. With heirs' property, no will is written, no specification about what's to be done with the land, and no title. I and mean, it takes quite a bit to be able to bring all the heirs together or to bring it back under one ownership. That's what leads to people losing their land. She has made such a big impact by informing people and uh, giving people options to be able to exist in their air property situation. She not only educates people on what air property is, she is educating people about how to clear it up. Miss Alexander is going to make sure you know. She's going to make sure you know the facts. She's going to make sure you know the principles. Make sure that you stay aware of what's going on. I really like that about her. She knows it, she's born and raised with it, she understands it, and she had that itch factor to be a Hall of Fame agricultural person. And she really was at the forefront in helping us move forward an important piece of legislation that will not only allow air property owners to have the more resources, but to also bring in federal support. Me and my wife got a home here long day we live now. That's what I'm about to tell you, got it, because everything. That's because everything. It's our honor to recognize Ebony Alexander as the recipient of the 2022 Kingsbury Brown Conservation Leadership Award. Congratulations, Ebony. Congratulations on this awesome award. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ebony. Congratulations. You go, girl. <laughs>